everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 43 in the house. As you can see, we have a ton of stuff going on right here. We have paint, we got acetone, we got the Dremel out here, we got water, we got paint brushes, we got freaking Lieutenant Dan William Regal over here. Just look at him, you sad sack piece of shit. But today, guys, we have three very important things to do. We got a lot of great things to do, and it's three different things. It's three different things, but it's going to require painting on, I think, just about all of them, if not all of them. Some part switching, some good things, and we are finally going to update our Trash King Corbin right here. Finally, I got the basic 102 Trash Corbin head sculpt back there. Finally going to customize that, get that thing ready, put him over here, and finally get the King looking the way he does now. Even though he's trash anyways, I do like to be accurate here. As you guys can see, we have some other things. We're going to do a fix-up on the Seth Rollins over here. We're going to make a Nakamura that my boy Balor Figs UK made the other day, and I'm going to show you guys how to make sort of a New Japan-style Nakamura. So huge shout-out to my boy Balor Figs UK for the idea and inspiration behind that. But getting into it today, guys, what we do here on WWE Action Figure Surgery is before we get into the surgery itself, we do need to walk through and talk about exactly what we're going to do here today on Action Figure Surgery. Then we dive into the surgery itself. Itself, and then we take a look at what we've done. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off first, guys, let's go ahead and get into this William Regal right here, Lieutenant Dan Regal right here. You guys can see we do have this Elite 45 William Regal, I do believe. And what we're going to be doing is pretty much just popping the head sculpt off of this William Regal. And then he is just going to be sort of a sad sack for the rest of what we want to do. So we're going to take this as our base and we're going to make a Shinsuke Nakamura from New Japan and give him like the full black tights look. And I'm going to show you exactly exactly how we're going to do that. Now once we removed his head sculpt, we are going to have to get the head sculpt off of this Nakamura back here and uh, I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt, but it's the only extra I have at the moment. I may replace it later on. I do have the Ultimate Edition head sculpts as well. Maybe you know I'll replace it. I just wasn't a big fan of those either. So I'm just going to roll with this one for now. This is the head sculpt we're going to put over here. Not only that guys, we are going to use these Finn Balor arms that I had in my Finn Balor fodder baggie and we're going to plug these black wrist tape arms on here because it's the same skin tone and it'll look just like Nakamura there. And I have the little black armband that will go on his left arm. So we are going to secure this and put this on the left arm. So he will have his black bicep band with his black wrist tape, the Nakamura head sculpt. That is not all, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to take our Citadel Air Abaddon Black right here, and we are going to paint these trunks in black. We're going to seal that up, and once that is sealed up, we are then going to go to the legs, and I have these top talent Seth Rollins legs that have been just sitting in my fodder box. We're going to add these to the uh, ball joints right here because they're ball joints. We're going to pop that in there, and then we're going to add the lower legs and the kick pads to that to give him the full black tights look, and that Nakamura should look pretty epic sauce nasty farts. So that should turn out all right. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. So that is our first thing to do. We are going to do this Nakamura into a New Japan Nakamura. Should turn out pretty freaking swell. So I am going to get all these Nakamura parts out of my Nakamura face. So getting the legs and arms out of there. Getting the other kick pad over there. The little freaking pegs over here. Other arm, other lower leg, other garbage. Get it out of my face. So there we go. All right, the next order of business, guys, is uh, my Trash Corbin's trying to roll away there. We are going to be popping the head sculpt off off of this Trash King Corbin right here. You guys know I don't like Corbin. I think he's trash, so one of my fans sent me a Trash King Corbin figure, or a Trash Corbin figure. I got this forever ago, because I always refer to him as Trash Corbin. Uh, we have never updated him. You guys can see he still has long hair. So we're going to take the new basic new basic. This shit's old now, Brad. We're going to take this newer basic 102 series Corbin head sculpt. We are going to acetone off the black paint off that hair. Don't know why he has that like faded afro haircut. I, I really don't know what that 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 totally why? Why does it look like this? I believe they told us that it would change upon release. Did not change, Brad. So we are going to uh, acetone this hair off and then we are going to pop this head sculpt over here, put the crown on there, and then we will have an updated Trash Corbin. And then uh, that is not all we're going to do. Uh, then we are also going to take this Rollins right here. And you guys will notice, well, what, what the hell's wrong with this Rollins? Well, Brad, what I'm going to do is remove this vest because the lines are not accurate. We're going to put the TNF vest on there so the lines actually line up. He will have the open knee pads. This figure actually, the Elite 45 Rollins actually came with the standard knee pads. So I did touch it up to make it more accurate. And I am going to switch his head sculpt with the basic 102 Rollins. And I am going to add the blonde streak to the hair so it will look more of like a 
pre-match Rollins when he was on the way to the ring at SummerSlam 2015 before he took on Jonathan Cena. So that is what we're going to be doing, guys. I got my freaking lemonade paint right here. Should put a perfect amount on there. We're going to seal that up. So we have some painting to do. We have some switching to do. And we got a lot of things to get through today on this episode of Action Figure Surgery, guys. So let's go ahead and get started on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 43. All right, guys. So I guess the first order of business for our surgery is going to be getting the head sculpt off of this William Regal while also heating up the arms of these Finn Balor arms and also heating up the head sculpt of the Nakamura so that we can put the Nakamura head sculpt onto the William Regal body so that we can make that New Japan style of, uh, of Nakamura right here. So let's go ahead and get him in position. Um, I'm going to do my best. I feel like the, the I feel like William Regal is going to blow the hell away, so I'm going to do my best to try and put him in a position where he won't do that. Uh, but, you know, you never freaking know, Brad. So let's go ahead and just try our best right here. Get him like that right there. Maybe this will work. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough for the William Regal. Going to try and pop this head sculpt off, and we did get it right there. Really short neck peg. Kind of surprises me right there. Now, we're going to see if this Nakamura head sculpt will come. Oh, my God in heaven. Did you hear that crackle pop snap right there? I'm going to try and get this off. And would you look at that, Bradley. Freaking neck pops out. Thank God that was a basic figure, so it didn't hurt my feelings near as much as it would if it were an elite. But now i got to get my freaking handy-dandy notebook pliers, and I'm going to have to snatch this hoe right out of his socket. Urgh. Jesus Christ. You got to be shitting me. All right, we did get that out finally with the handy-dandy notebook pliers. So now we're going to pop this head sculpt of Nakamura onto the William Regal football body. Hopefully this pops on nicely and it looks like it sits pretty good. Now we're going to pop the arms onto the William Regal body. We are going to pop this hand out though so that we can slide the good old fashioned armband on there. The good old Shinsuke Nakamura armband on there or arm tie or whatever the hell you want to call it there. So then uh, you pull that up, you pop that on. Why? Don't know why that was so difficult, but anyways, we did get the black armband on there, so now you plug the hand back in. I will not use these choke slamming hands for Nakamura, but uh, they are on there at the moment. We can fix those later on. Not a big uh, deal to me right there, so we, we can easily get that taken care of, but there is Nakamura right now. Now the next order of business, guys, is going to be to get uh, these trunks painted. So we gotta tr paint these trunks. What I'm gonna be using is my Citadel Air Abaddon Black best paint ever you know you don't have to thin it out it just works for you so uh, now I guess I'm gonna go to a time-lapse where I paint up these red trunks in black
All right, guys, while we wait on Shinsuke to dry, I guess the next thing we can do is go ahead and prep our Seth Rollins legs from the Top Talents figure because if we do not prep that, then uh, we're going to have to put this thing together anyway. So while that dries, what better way than to put this together? That way we can just pop these hoes right onto those Nakamura legs, and Nakamura will be finished, and we can look at him at the end here. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take our black pegs, and we do need to run them through this Seth Rollins lower leg right here. And I think this should be long enough. It actually, I feel like it's a little too long, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll just have to see about that once we, you know, heat up that lower leg and everything like that. So there's the one leg. Now we're moving on to the second leg with our second peg. Ha, that rhymed unintentional. So run this through here and get that through there and then get that going right like that and then now now we got to heat up the lower leg part and the boot part because those both have to connect there so we're gonna try this together and we're gonna put that there put that right there and hopefully all this gets heated up and we can connect that to that and then pop the boots in there and then put the legs on the nakamura <laughs> let's do it oh god in heaven can we please? Can we please? Alright guys, let's see if we can get this going. What leg is this? What leg is this? Okay, this is the right leg. That's the front side. So the right leg, front side, right there. Uh, this thing's on fire. Fire, God in heaven, Jesus Christ. That is super hot. Yeah, I felt like that peg was too freaking big, dude. And it is. It's clearly too big, but it actually, it, it'll still work. It's just, it, it's way too big. Um, and then, is that the right? Jesus. All right, we got that on, and then gonna take that, and then pop that like that, and then it's being a whore bag, and then, God, I'm heaven, that shit is hot. All right, we got that. I'll pop that on there. And then I don't think that got heated up, so we do have to heat this up real quick. Slide that down, slide the other knee pad down. I don't know if Nakamura is quite dry yet. Um, it looks like he has a little bit more drying to do, but he should be dry by the end of the video right here. So we should just be able to pop this on right here. I said pop this on right here, like so, and then pop this right here. Oh, F. I mean, his trunks are pretty much dry. They're not completely dry, but they're they're almost there. All right, Nakamura is finished, guys. So now that we have completed Nakamura, we will take a closer look at Nakamura, the New Japan-style Nakamura. Huge shout out to Battle Figs UK again for the idea. We will take a closer look at him at the end, but now our next order of business is going to be fixing Trash Corbin. Now, uh, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and, you know what, I'm gonna acetone this first before we pop it off, but we do need to go ahead and remove the crown of this Corbin, throw that over there, because we are going to be removing this head, but I guess we can heat those up at the same time, so I guess our next order of business is going to be to acetone this Trash Corbin head sculpt.
right, guys, now we are going to switch our Trash Corbin head sculpt that we just acetone beautifully onto our Trash Corbin uh, figure right here. So uh, I got to be careful with this because this torso is held together by glue, so you got to be freaking careful not to heat it up too long. You want to heat it up just long enough to get the head off, but not too, too long because then you'll F it all up. Guys, moment of truth here. Can we get this off without ruining it? Big. Oh my God in heaven. I want to do this off camera because I don't want to break shit. All right, we got it off there. Now let's see if we can get the Constable TGIF Fry Fucking Day Fart Bag. All right, here we go. God, that's tiny. Just freaking microscopic peg hole. Booyow. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, let's go ahead and add the crownsy. What do you guys think? He's kind of bobbleheading it now. You know what? We'll look at it at the end. May have to add some, like, paper up in that bitch. But anyways, guys, that is it for Trash Corbin. Now we're moving on to our final portion of surgery, which is going to be uh, popping... Uh, well, well, well let's, let's go ahead and do this first. We have to remove this vest. Let's go ahead and remove the Seth Rollins vest because we are going to put it on the more accurate vest. Um, so we are going to remove this vest, get this vest out of here, and then we are going to pop this head sculpt off, pop on this head sculpt, custom paint it, seal it up, then add the other vest, and we're going to get the hell out of here. Alright guys, here we go, moment of truth season. Let's see if we can get this thing going. We're gonna pop off the good God in heaven in Jesus name. Got the basic 102 head sculpt off. Now we just have to pop off the smiley head sculpt. And this one's kind of difficult, so I'm gonna do it off camera again. You wanna get up under the chin, but you also wanna get up in there. Yeah, yeah, it's just perfect. All right, we got it perfectly. Now we're going to pop the basic. I'm really excited for the way this is gonna come out. I think it's gonna look sick. Okay, it already looks sick before we paint it, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, cue up the old uh, time lapse. It's not gonna be a very long time lapse, right? I mean, my God, it's gonna take two seconds. I mean, it's just a little streak down here at the end of the hair, but uh, anyways, let's knock that shit out. Alright guys, so here is everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. You know, not a big day, but we did do a lot, I feel like. You know, we got the uh, New Japan style Shinsuke Nakamura with the black tights, the black armband, and everything like that. I like this torso better for Nakamura. It just poses a lot better and stuff like that. Again, a huge shout out to my boy Balor Figs UK for the idea and the inspiration behind that. Do not like the choke slamming hands. Definitely will fix that. But also here today, I, 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 first of all, this, this did turn out exactly how we wanted. I think that turned out beautiful looks great looks great feels great excellent here is trash corbin you guys will see he's kind of a bobblehead now now he's bobble trash head st stupid ass idiot moron trash corbin but you guys will see here uh, i may have to stuff some paper up in there because he definitely is a bobblehead but it's not that big of a deal i think it sits pretty good there and you got the chrome dome at the top so i think it worked out great i think every everything uh, turned out well for corbin as far as that is concerned now he will be an up-to-date piece of trash in our videos and then last Lastly, guys, we do have the Seth Rollins SummerSlam 2015 fix-up with the basic 102 head sculpt. I did add the little touch of blonde there at the bottom, and I think that looks magnificent. So now we have the open knee pads, the accurate vest for the TNF, and then the probably the best head sculpt you can have. Now the only thing missing is his, uh, his WWE Championship. So uh, that will be, you know, right before he goes down to the ramp or his way on his way to the ring. That is exactly the moment that will capture. But I'm really excited with the way that head sculpt turned out with the paint job and everything like that but i think that is going to do it guys i'm going to get the hell out of here thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy wwe action figure surgery episode number 43 subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my name toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you